Hi, friends. Um, I thought I'd stop by and show the lap, the lap book I've been working on. This was a lot of fun, I have to admit. Um, got the idea from Nick the Booksmith. I watched her video, so a lot of the techniques and um, um, just some of the techniques in here are a lot of what she used. I named this book Adventure. It's nine and a half long and uh, about seven inches wide and an inch, almost an inch and a quarter spine. I have some braided seam binding, or not braided, um, lace seam binding on the outside um, of the spine. And it ties around to the middle. I had to change my setup a little bit here because of lap books are so big. So it opens up all big like that. We'll take one little segment at a time. Okay. So on this side, there's like file folders that open up. There's a pocket here and a pocket behind some ephemera that some of this is on my Etsy store. There's some extra writing space here in this pocket. And this little envelope up here was an old extra buttons envelope that you get on clothing. And these are the cigarette collector's card from probably oh 70s or 60s I'm thinking and there's a little calling card in here that was from an old scrapbook I found it's, they're not calling cards these are collector's card from the Arm & Hammer company that was the, one of the floral sets and then there's a pocket here and here. And then back behind them is another pocket with some more journaling paper and a postcard. I put fun labels on the the filing card the filing um can't think of the word. Okay, and then here is an envelope that I made just out of paper. I sewed around and you can open that up. And there's some more journaling space. An old, I think it's an old advertisement. On the back is plain. It's all coffee dyed for writing. And then you just close it there. Here's another little envelope here, tuck spot, another collector card. And this opens up, there's a calling card in here I believe, and a lot of my calling cards that I've gotten um, come from tailor-made journals Etsy store the Victorian calling card set. Gorgeous, um, gorgeous images. This is one of my labels that I've made. Um, this is a double pocket up here and these have gussets in them. Nick the Booksmith taught us how to do that in her video. A um, little mini postcard and um, another little advertisement card from the uh, scrapbook that I have. So those go there and then there's more space for tucking things up here. Okay, the next segment. There's a tuck spot here with a fun label. This is one of my stained glass cards and this is from TaylorMade. 
journals. And here's a fun little magazine insert for journaling space. I decorated some of these panels with an old ledger from a bank in the late 1800s, almost the turn of the century there. And some old music pages, dictionary page here. This holds three animal trading cards that are on my shop. I love uh, cabinet cards, but I like the backs of them almost as much as the pictures. There's so much fun um, artwork that you can find on them. Just another journaling opportunity there. A tag that I made out of an old map. Some more of that ledger paper. And here's another little tuck spot here with um, cabinet card backs. Look at the artwork on those. I just love them. Some more journaling paper. And then if you wanted to, with this lace seam binding here, you could tuck some extra paper here or maybe a letter that you want to keep in a safe spot. Just right there. Zoom out a little bit. We're too close. Okay. Oops, sorry. Here's a little tuck spot. These images are from a 1929 uh, graduation al annual or yearbook from the town that I went to school in. And here's another opportunity for writing. Folded up, looks like a little letter. There's another collector card from the Am Arm & Hammer Company. This is a fun little fold out that I learned from Nick the Booksmith. Um, this is a fun little journaling card. It's a scan of an old crayon box, probably from the, I'm guessing, 30s or 40s. I'm not sure. Um, this is a Christmas card found in some of my great grandma's things. And so I just I glued the last or the back on it, and then you can flip it up for extra journaling space. This was um, a page in an old, I think it was a, a Bible dictionary, and so it was a dictionary that had, um, oh, like birds of Bible time, I think, in that in the Middle East area and all, all kinds of other definitions and, and uh, things regarding the Bible times. And here's a belly band um, tuck spot. You can open it up for more journaling, but it looks like a letter. And then this is a, this is a love letter that you can hold and write on the back. I think this is more of that dictionary page from before. Um, this is the back of the third segment. And this is little tuck spots with slots that you can just tuck your little cards in or your tags. These have journaling spaces behind them. So that's this side of the fold out. And now we can look at this side of the fold out. This segment here is a collaged um, piece of, or collaged um, front and back. Um, so it's interesting and it's decoupage so it has a nice feel to it. 
This is a bottom tuck, and it holds an old journaling page, or not journal, a ledger page, for lots of journaling that you can do there. Okay, and then this one is a side tuck with a pretty cabinet card back there. This is hand stitched around and then this larger one is machine stitched and it holds some more paper for journaling. And the back is an old, um, I think it's an old dictionary page. And then the last segment is a satchel. It has the definition of adventure here. Also, whenever I get a scrapbook or an old photo album, I like to harvest out these little picture frame holders. And I use them in my journals. It just gives it a little more interest and dimension. This little satchel has one, two, three slots. They, they've been decorated with little file folder labels. This one says confidential. This one says number 47. I think that I might have gotten that one from a free download from Nick the Booksmith. This one might have been two. Um, and then in the back one here I have a little journal that's backed with a, an old map page with I think five sheets of paper that have been doubled so there's ten, ten pages of journaling opportunity and it's been stitched in the back or stitched in the middle and it's got plenty of space for more and you just close it up with this well you can either catch it on this little metal piece or you can go around the circle. I hope you enjoyed this as much as I enjoyed making it. I'll be getting it on my Etsy store in the next day or so I think. Thanks for looking.